Hey, y'all. So we are talking about uh, Jupiter retrograde today. So let's get started right now. So Jupiter is going retrograde in uh, Capricorn starting on May the 15th until August the 11th, 2020. So about four months, um, Jupiter, we're going to retrograde. Jupiter goes retrograde once a year. Okay. Um, so Jupiter is the planet of luck, wealth, bliss, happiness, expansion, travel, justice, truth, um, social things, uh, travel, if I didn't say travel already, uh, leaders, leadership, authority, not necessarily like authority, like authoritative, but like your, your, your leader figures. Okay. So like, especially like people in government and justice. Okay. So that is Jupiter. Jupiter, um, rules Sagittarius, all right. And, um, uh, you're dealing now with the, What is that? You're dealing with the ninth house. Uh, you're dealing with the, I think, third house. And then you're also, um, Capricorn is the 10th house and you're looking at the fourth house. All right. As well. So a lot of things going on right now with Jupiter. Jupiter is, is a pretty big planet. Um, it is the largest planet actually in our solar system. All right. Uh, it is considered to be, you know, a like very jovial planet as well. So like you can connect it, I guess, with, um, you know, jovialness as well. So yeah. All right. So let's get to the breakdown. So Jupiter and retrograde starts on May 15th. Now it's already in shadow. So I'm sure that you guys are already feeling it, which we are. So we have a lot of restrictions on travel right now. Obviously with the COVID, um, you know, things are changing as far as the travel, but people are very wary of traveling right now. People are very wary of leaving home because of the things that are happening right now. So that's, you know, retrograde right there. So people are afraid to travel. Um, you know, people are afraid to try new things, to go new places. People just want to stay in the, the comforts of their home because, you know, that's where they feel most comfortable right now. They feel more comfortable around their family. So you have, uh, you know, the government, you know, putting their strong arm on us for the 2020 and putting us, you know, in quarantine so that we have to stay home. And, you know, there are a lot of social, uh, distancing rules happening right now and you know families can't be families you know it's it's probably hard right now to date you know what i'm saying to date right now to uh, you know engage in any type of social activities again travel is stifled as well so you know we're looking at a lot that's going on as far as our social platform and the way we actually communicate with each other and you know the um the events that we go to and things like that so all of this uh, has to do with Jupiter. Now, as far as um, Capricorn is concerned, because we do have to think about uh, Capricorn energy when we're looking at Jupiter, right? So when we're looking at uh, Jupiter with that Capricorn energy, now we're looking at expansion as far as, you know, structures and things like that. But structures right now are not expanding. They are crumbling. So hence... Jupiter retrograde. Okay. Um, and with that system crumbling and falling, we, as the people are starting to lose faith in our leaders, faith in our justice system, hence Jupiter retrograde, Jupiter being the planet of justice. All right. So a lot of people right now are feeling, you know, and this is a collective, this is a mass scale, right? So people right now are afraid to trust people in the law. Um, you know, they are, they are afraid to, not only trust people in the law, but to trust people like that they, that, you know, like doctors, you know, uh, president, the, the vice president, just everybody that we normally would be in contact with as far as, or not even contact with, but just confident in, I should say, 
most people on a collective scale, right? Right? Not all of us, but most people on a collective scale. They would be confident in, you know, in understanding and knowing that these people are there for their best interest. But because this is a year of exposure, our leaders are being exposed. And now, in turn, we feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? So, let you know, oh my goodness. It's, it's a beautiful thing that Jupiter retrograde is here because... Like, this is going to be the, this is going to be the segue to the greater awakening. You know, it's almost like, you know, the, the government is digging a, a hole for themselves. And you, it's like that saying, like, just let them, just let them dig his own hole. You know, like, just let him, just, just let him fail, you know, himself because he is sabotaging. Not saying he like Trump or whatever like that, but, you know, anyone, just a person, you know, for the example like he would be destroying himself by continuing to do what he's doing. So just let him dig his own hole. And that's kind of like what the U.S. is doing right now. It's like the more they try to do, the worse that the hole gets and the bigger the hole gets and the more the, the you know, the swamp starts to get drained, so to say. So, uh, you know, Jupiter is, because it's such a big, expansive planet, because, you know, it covers so many different genres of things and so many different types of people Jupiter speaks to a lot of different different archetypes of people right and so it's beautiful that you know on a mass scale that we are seeing our system start to crumble before us because then now people can actually start to rise up together as a collective to fight you know, um, to fight for a, a common cause. <clears throat> we see that with all these petitions now being signed, um, you know, for all these different bills that they're passing right under our noses, right? So people are using the internet. People are using, you know, uh, video and streams like this here, you know, to get to the people to, to get to people on a mass scale so that we could communicate and have a, say so in our justice, right? Because our justice is being compromised right now. You know what I'm saying? Even as we do quarantine, even as we do listen, you know how the states, are, some of us are still on quarantine. You know what I'm saying? Maryland, we are still on quarantine. So as this, as this even starts to unfold more and more and more, we're going to start to see people lose more and more faith. Even with this 2020 election, you're going to see a lot of people start to lose, lose that momentum, you know, but by the time the election comes, Jupiter will have gone back in its direct position. And that is when I think that people will get rocked back to sleep, especially going into uh, the second wave of COVID, you know, the government passing these, uh, bills to give us stimulus checks they're rocking us to sleep you know on one hand you got people getting twelve hundred dollars but on the other hand you got them telling you that they're going to pass the trace act you know so where is the justice in that so that's where jupiter is coming in it's like you know y'all need to really look at how your leaders are doing y'all they are doing y'all dirty as shit right now you know what i'm saying so that's that's jupiter on a on a collective again you know travel um, this is not a good time to, I'm going to get to travel in a second, but this is not a good time. So Jupiter is also, um, governs contracts as well, um, as Mercury does too. But, uh, it, this is more like those lawful type of contracts, you know, things that involve like deeper, uh, legalities and things like that. This is not a, a, the best time to do that. So don't go and get married right now. Don't go and get a divorce right now. Don't go in, you know, sign any like paperwork that, could that you would regret in the future okay now it's not a great time to do it the communication is going to be off something's going to be off as far as with the contract itself so you know don't make any huge purchases right now um you know just like you're not supposed to make any huge changes to yourself um as as through venus retrograde with jupiter you do not want to make any type of large purchases don't buy any homes don't buy any vacation homes don't buy any cars you know you just need to keep sit your ass the fuck down and and just and plan and think and prioritize okay plan your next trip if you do want to do something travel travel right now um i know i told you guys i don't know if i told y'all but I'm going to Miami and my, and my round trip ticket was $48. You know what I'm saying? And I booked my hotel for under, under 500 and it's for four days in Miami on a resort. 
So that's bomb. You know what I'm saying? And it's two of us going. So we're splitting the cost. So that's even cheaper for Miami just to chill. And people are like, hey, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, they want to be salty on my trip. Don't be mad because you're not going, well, nothing's going to be open. And what if nothing is open? I'm like, I don't need nothing to be open. I just want the beach. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I just want the beach. So, anyways. <laughs> anyways. Ooh, I needed that. Whew, okay. So it's definitely it's definitely a moment in time to kind of stop, reevaluate. Um, you know, don't be lazy right now. Don't be stuck in your ways right now. Become open minded. I want to talk about travel. So t- travel places, y'all. Travel. Go out. Get out. Get on that plane, do your thing. Like, don't don't let you know the quarantine stop you from traveling. Like, now is a great time to travel and get out there and see new cultures, new places. Whether you go abroad or you stay international, or excuse me, um, intercontinental th- within the um continent. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you get out and travel, even if you just go over to the next city, be expansive right now, not only with your travel, but with your personality, you know what I'm saying? And with, um, you know, just who you are as a person, like, you know, expand your network, you know, through, through the means of online, um, because that's where things are starting to go, start to expand ideas in business, start to expand ideas in love, you know, just be expansive, be open, be honest, uh, with yourself about what you want. And just go for it, you know, go for it. Now is the perfect time to do it. Like, go for it. Um, definitely see where Jupiter is in your chart. Okay, see where Jupiter is in your chart. So me, Jupiter is um, in Sagittarius. All right, and, and it's in my fourth house. Okay, it's in my fourth house. So um, I'm a very, very late degree very late degree um Sagittarius so that joint is almost in Capricorn facts almost in almost in Capricorn but it's in Sag it's in Sag in the third house so um that just just for those that want to know and the breakdown for me so you know right now is like a time for me to just be free, you know, be a little social butterfly as much as I can, whether it's online or in person travel. I told you guys I'm going to Miami. Um, you know, I plan to go every which or where I can go at least while things are still open because they will close again. So this is like that window of opportunity for you to, to, to get in there and do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have a lot of new things coming. You guys know I got the Cosmic uh, Academy coming, which is going to be all about shadow work and working on your shadows. And so I, it's just, it's just, oh my God, y'all, it's just such a great, it's a great time to be alive. Like I'm adding inventory daily on my website. Um, uh, as far as like justice for me and things like that, you know, I'm in the process of getting my, um, my nationalization and things like that. And, you know, getting my paperwork together for my affidavits and, you know, just to make sure everything is in line and ready to go. Um, what else work, you know, so just expanding and work as far as getting my money to work for me. So I don't have to work for my money and I can just, you know, create or whatever, when I want, for however long I want. Um, so, I mean, that's just a small snippet of some of the things that I have been really looking into as far as Jupiter retrograde is concerned. Um, I mean, because I've already been kind of working like on my business, I feel like, you know, this is just more of a time for me to, to like expand and spread my luck and my wealth. And to just really work on bringing in that Jupiter energy for those aspects of my life. Everything else I'm pretty good with as far as like, you know, just having things established as far as the structures of, of work and, and family and things like that. Like, y'all know I'm trying to get married. You know, I want a whole man real quick, real soon. 
<laughs> I told y'all low key I have a boyfriend, but um <laughs> low key, like low, 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 low key. But yeah, like I um you know, I'm just being a I'm just being open right now. I'm not being the Virgo that I normally am. I'm trying not to be picky and be like a perfectionist and want perfection in people. Like I'm just kind of learning how to go with the flow. And not only, like, of course, live by my standards, but, like, not be so, you know, so picky about people. So, I guess that's, that's what I've been doing. I've just been trying to, like, socialize better, um, not be, like, such an asshole and, you know, just be fair. Just be fair. Like, I'm a perfectionist and I ask for a lot. I told you I deserve it all. I do. I do. I deserve it all. And so do you. But I guess, you know, sometimes we do have to compromise and life is about compromise and, and life is about my art. So, you know, I have to, as much as I ask for, I have to be willing to give as much, you know, as well to, to, to balance the scale. Even though I want it all, I can't have it all. That's my Jupiter retrograde. <laughs> Okay, Jupiter retrograde is telling me, even though I want it all, I can't have it all. And there's just some things that I just won't be able to have, but it's all good. You know, I'm going to get what I need and what's going to be for my highest good. All right, so Ashe. So that, that's a little Jupiter retrograde pep talk for you. You know what I'm saying? So let me know down below in the comments where your Jupiter is placed in your chart. Remember, mine is... My Jupiter is in Sag in the third house, okay? So that is where mine is in my placement. Let me know down below and maybe I will answer you and tell you some things that you need to work on for the um, Jupiter retrograde, all right? So I love you guys so much and I will check you all in the next video. All right, y'all, peace.